Good news everyone, the Kwacha is finally showing signs of improvement. Bad news, the US dollar to Kwacha rate is actually much higher than it was since our last video. Now in the last video we talked about what exchange rate is and how it can be determined using economic fundamentals or you can also do your own simple calculation using something called the purchase power parity. Now when we talk about market sentiment, it is the general feeling about where the market or prices for certain things are supposed to be. Sentiment and speculation often go hand in hand. Sentiment can either be positive, you're expecting things to improve. It can be negative, you're expecting things to get worse, or it can just be neutral. And when you talk about speculation, it is basically market participants determining where they feel a certain asset must be priced at, in this case, the currency. Nowadays, people are not going to tell you that they are speculating. They'll just come to you and say it like it's facts. This dollar is going to reach 15 or 20 kwacha. But Mino, it's mere speculation. And that speculation has been fed by sentiments, which are often negative. Sentiment can be formed by what people hear in the news. So I understand when our government is upset with the Bloomberg. These guys have been spreading negative views about Zambia for quite a while now. But I don't think Bloomberg is the only culprit. As a country, we need to pay more attention and do a little more when it comes to PR. Now, I think I like our Minister of Finance almost as much as NGOCC, but her recent map before leave a lot to be desired. Now, if you follow this recent steep depreciation of the Kwacha, you'll find that it starts almost immediately after Madame Wanakatwe appeared on Bloomberg. The second factor that contributed to this was when the central bank governor basically confirmed the pessimists worst fears when he said that the market had low dollar supply these doomsayers got up feeling validated running to anyone who cared to listen their family their friends please buy dollar this thing is going to get worse and guess what things actually did get worse but you know why it is because if you're buying speculatively all you are doing is you are creating demand. It's like for example when you hear that there's going to be a fuel shortage. Go to any filling station, you're going to find long queues. Even those people who normally buy 30, 50 kwacha, they'll be in that queue to try and buy a food tank. But the big question that we have here is why is there low dollar supply? Apparently the mines have not been selling it. You know these guys have made so much money from this country and now they are showing us that they are willing to do anything they are going to destroy jobs and they will even bring our economy to its knees unless they have it their way i like the stance that the government has taken with this kcm people but while i commend that move my hope and prayer is that we actually have a solid plan in place what makes me skeptical is because i can't remember a time when i've seen politicians do anything that is strictly for the benefit of the people I mean, take this recently ended NDF. Tell me one recommendation that came out from that forum that is motivated by a desire to actually serve the people. I just hope and pray that when it comes to KCM, we are doing this because it is going to be good for the country in the long run and not because there's a politician who stands to benefit in the short term. You see, there's about 17 to 20,000 jobs at stake at KCM and I don't think our country can afford for all those jobs to be lost. It's not just families being affected, but it's also our tax revenue in form of pay as you earn coming from these employees. My final word again is to people who are out there looking to buy dollar. Please, there's no need for you to buy dollar at 13 kwacha or higher. Especially not if you're just going to put that money on your account. Every time that you buy, you're validating that that's where the rate is supposed to be. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.